तो व्हाट्सअप 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 वेलकम 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 टू द रिविजन ऑफ एसए 810 एंगेजमेंट्स टू रिपोर्ट ऑन समरी फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट बिफोर वी बिगिन विद द एसए फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड सर व्हाट इज अ समरी फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट एक्चुअली तो समरी फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट इज नथिंग इट इज अ फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट ओनली सो लाइक एवरी फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट इज अ फाइनेंशियल इंफॉर्मेशन एंड अ हिस्टोरिकल फाइनेंशियल इंफॉर्मेशन बेस्ड ऑन द पास्ट इवेंट्स एंड ट्रांजैक्शन सो इट इज अ हिस्टोरिकल फाइनेंशियल इंफॉर्मेशन व्हिच इज डिराइव्ड derived from the financial statement and since it is a summary financial statement it contains less information it contains less details than the financial statement and like every financial statement it is a structured representation structured representation of the balance sheet and the pnl balance sheet means assets and liabilities that is the entity's economic resources or obligations or the changes therein for a period of time so this is the definition summary financial statement historical financial information which have been derived from the financial statements because it is a summary it contains less details than the financial statement like a financial statement it is a structured representation assets liabilities and pnl now sir like every time we have done what here also we divided the essay here also we divided the essay into three parts sir what were the three parts first part is related to your engagement acceptance then planning and performing the audit and then reporting part when i talk about engagement acceptance we will accept this engagement only we were engaged to audit the full financial statement generally when you are auditing the full financial statement then you audit the summary financial statement so first thing that you need to determine is whether the applicable frf is acceptable no sir here the word uses applied criteria whether the applied criteria is acceptable or not sir what is the applied criteria generally that we discussed in this example also that in case of india if i talk about the companies who prepare their financial statements as per as or nds in those companies the word is not summary financial statement the word used is abridged financial statements oh so for the companies which comply with nds for them this abridged financial statements ka format has been prescribed by companies act 2013 pursuant to your section 136 read with rule 10 of companies accounts rules 2014 so this may be you, you have done in your ca intermediate so like you can see normal balance sheet is there then a normal notes to accounts are there normal pnl is there and in the notes to accounts or disclosure you can see less information is there less details are there so the first question that ici can ask you is what what are the factors that you will consider as a auditor to determine whether the applied criteria is acceptable so the first thing that you need to see is the nature of the entity whether it is a as entity indias entity or a non for profit entity so the nature of the entity second thing why are we preparing the summary come on why are we preparing the summary that means the purpose of the summary financial statement sir the purpose is to fulfill the information needs to fulfill the information needs of the users and make sure because you are giving less details make sure you are giving less details so you should be alert that these financial statements are not misleading so these are the four points you need to consider nature of the entity purpose of the summary financial statement purpose is to fulfill the information needs and last point stay alert because you are giving less information these no should not be misleading got it sir if the applied criteria is unacceptable it is unacceptable to you then in that case don't accept the audit engagement you should not accept the audit engagement unless required by law or regulation if law regulation requires you to accept the audit engagement then you can accept it but in that case it will not be considered to be a audit done as per the standards on auditing is this part clear yes sir now sir what is the management responsibility divided into three parts first of all prepare the financial statements or i should say summary financial statements as per the applied criteria got it sir ठीक है सर अब जब आपने अप्लाइड क्राइटेरिया की बात करी प्रिपेयर कर रहे हैं हम समरी फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट एज पर द अप्लाइड क्राइटेरिया दूसरी बात आपने ध्यान रखनी है कि इस समरी के साथ जो मेन ऑडिटेड फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स है ये भी यूजर्स को अवेलेबल होने चाहिए विदाउट एनी डिफिकल्टी तो मैनेजमेंट का काम है कि वो अपने समरी फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स में लोगों को बताए कि कैसे उनको ऑडिटेड फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स का एक्सेस मिल सकता है तो अब दो तरीके से एक्सेस मिल सकता है या तो पब्लिकली अवेलेबल होने चाहिए या उनको प्रोसेस बता दिया जाए ऑडिटेड फाइनेंशियल either they should be available publicly or they should be told about the process how to get these financial statements sorry for little bit hindi i got carried away got it sir last point is you need to agree with the auditor about the format in which the opinion will be given these are the three basic points so i feel you should just read the management responsibility and this part is important which part is important sir 
that make sure that the audited financial statements are available to the intended user without any undue difficulty. So mentioning clearly from where the audited financial statements can be available, either they should be publicly available or establish the process of getting the access to these financial statements. Okay, sir. Then we discuss the topic of the nature of procedures and I feel ICA can ask a, ask a five marker question from it. Auditor shall perform the following procedures to evaluate. What are the things to be evaluated in case of summary financial statement? So just go with the flow. First thing that you will evaluate is whether the summary financial statements adequately disclosed that they are summary financial statement. Like we saw the abridged financial statement. Is it clearly written that they are abridged financial statement? Answer is yes. In the beginning only, you are mentioning these are abridged balance sheet. This is a abridged balance sheet. This is a summary balance sheet. So summary financial statements should clearly disclose their summarized nature and identify the audited financial statement. When they are summary financial statement, make sure proper disclosures are there. Necessary information is there. Appropriate level of aggregation is there so that they are not misleading. Got it, sir. So two points are very simple summary financial statement. But even in the summary, proper information and proper aggregation of details should be there so that they are not misleading. In the third point, we discussed about disclosure returns. That means in this, you have to disclose the applied criteria. Fourth point is related to this only. Based on this applied criteria, you need to prepare the financial statement. So evaluate whether the financial statements prepared as per the applied criteria. And last point is, we all will remember without any difficulty. Sir, how? This is the same point. The audited financial statement should be available to the users of the summary financial statements without any difficulty. So these are the five points you need to consider. Whether the summary financial statements disclose that we are summary financial statement and also give reference to the audited financial statement. Second point, even though they are a summary, they have given proper details of the information, proper level of aggregation so that they are not misleading. Third point, disclosure returns. Disclose the applied criteria, then evaluate whether the financial statements have been prepared as per the applied criteria. And last point is audited financial statements are available to the users without any difficulty. Got it. Got it, sir. Now comes the next point about the form of opinion. Two forms of opinion are possible. Sir, what are the forms of opinion? Generally, what we do in case of audited financial statements, that the financial statements have been prepared in all material respects as per the applicable FRF. But here we are talking about summary financial statements. So two options are available. Summary financial statements are consistent in all material respects with the audited financial statements as per applied criteria. Oh, so summary financial statement should be consistent with the audited financial statement. Second point, what is the other option? Summary financial statements are a fair summary of the audited financial statement as per the applied criteria. You can use either of the wordings. But sir, what if these wordings are not prescribed by the law regulation? Your law regulation is interfering in it and it is prescribing some other wordings. Then in that case, you need to see whether those other wordings can create a misunderstanding in the mind of the users. If you feel it can create a misunderstanding, then you need to change the wordings. You need to add some additional information. You need to give additional explanation. But even after additional explanation, you are not able to mitigate the misunderstanding. What to do? Don't accept the engagement. Then in such case, you should not accept the audit engagement. This is the point you need to understand. You got the point or not? Yes, sir. This is the same thing which is written here. Now, sir, what about the audit report? We also saw in the audit report of Tata Motors, title of the report, addressee to whom it is addressed. Addressee depends on the nature of the uh, entity, purpose of the summary financial statements and the terms of engagement. Yes, sir. Then there will be an introductory para identifying the summary financial statement, identifying the title of each summary financial statement, that means summary balance sheet, summary PNL, summary cash flow, blah, 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 blah. Plus you also identify the audited financial statements. Okay? Then the audit report on these audited financial statement. What is the opinion? Generally, it would be an unmodified opinion only. Got it, sir. If the date of audit report on summary financial statement is after the date of audit report on audited financial statement, then you will mention whatever were the events between audited financial statement to the summary financial statements audit report. We have not considered those events. Those events have not been considered by us. Why? Because summary financial statements have been derived from audited financial statements only. 
ठीक है सर हेयर वी टुक दिस एग्जाम्पल ऑफ फिफ्टीन जून एंड फिफ्टींथ ऑफ जुलाई and last point you need to write here is summary financial statement doesn't contain all the information it doesn't contain all the disclosures so reading the summary financial statement is not a substitute of reading the complete financial statements or audited financial statements okay sir then you describe management responsibility of preparing the summary financial statement as per the applied criteria auditor's responsibility of auditing uh, of expressing the opinion and then a para clearly expressing the opinion then you need to give the auditor sign membership number firm registration number udin blah 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 these are basic things which are there in every audit report then sir what about the date of audit report it should not be before the date auditor has obtained sufficient and appropriate evidence written representation from the management plus the date of the audit report on audited financial statement so from the main financial statement from which the summary has been derived your audit report on summary financial statements cannot be dated before that now sir some basic things let's say there is a qualified opinion eom para or om para in the main audited financial statement theek okay? hai but our summary financial statements are okay summary financial statements are a fair summary of the audited financial statement so can i express a unmodified opinion on the summary financial statement answer is yes if your summary financial statements are consistent in all material respects or they are a fair summary of audited financial statement you can express a unmodified opinion but remember your audit report will also contain what it will contain the fact that in the audited financial statements there is a qualified opinion there is a eom para there is a om para also you need to describe the basis of qualified opinion basis of eom para basis of om para and last may the effect on the summary financial statement if any sir what if it was not a qualified opinion it was not a disclaimer of opinion sorry it was not a qualified opinion but it was a adverse opinion or disclaimer of opinion then in that case what happens again two points remain the same you need to mention the fact that in case of audited financial statement there is a adverse opinion there is a disclaimer of opinion also describe the basis for these opinion and tell because of this adverse opinion because of this disclaimer of opinion it is not appropriate it is not appropriate to express the opinion on summary financial statement why sir it is not appropriate are baba when there are material misstatement in the financial statements and the impact is pervasive when the whole financial statements are materially misstated how will the summary financial statements will be good sir it will also be materially misstated so it is better to not express a opinion on summary financial statement and if your summary is also bad that means summary is not consistent in all material respects with the audited financial statement or it is not a fair summary and the management is not rectifying it then in that case give a adverse opinion you got the point or not yes sir sir what if the summary financial statements are a summary of special purpose financial statement then in that case whatever restriction on distribution or alert wala para you add for that special purpose financial statement na same para needs to be added to the audit report of summary financial statement you got the point or not yes sir then we discuss some basic points about the comparatives that is sa 710 if the comparatives are there in the audited financial statement but not in the summary financial statement you need to evaluate the effect on your audit opinion basic thing theek hai sir sir if some unaudited supplementary information is presented with the supplement uh, summary financial statement which should not be presented then you need to see the presentation if the presentation is not proper ask the management to rectify it if management is not rectifying it it is not changing the presentation just write in your audit report that this information is not covered by our audit opinion this is the same thing we do in sa 700 also theek hai sir last point is about your annual report like annual report in sa 720 you just read the annual report to see whether there is any material inconsistency between the annual report and the financial statement this is the same thing you have to do if you find some material inconsistency here again you have to take the same steps as we have discussed in sa 720 now comes sir comes the next topic of auditors association it is a very classic topic just understand with me there are two cases applicable in case of auditors association so what were the two cases in the case number 1 there is a document in that document management is mentioning there is audited summary financial statement okay sir along with the audited summary financial statement they are not giving your audit report is the management doing something fishy yes sir 
by mentioning the audited summary financial statement and not giving your audit report they are doing something fishy so you will request the management to include along with the summary financial statement your audit report theek hai this is the thing that you are going to do if the management doesn't agree you need to take appropriate action so this is the same thing that i have written in case there is a document theek hai in case there is a document which contains the summary financial statements but it does not include your audit report in request the management to include the audit report if the management says no we are not including then in that case take appropriate action clear clear sir next case you are auditing the audited financial statements matlab complete financial statement and you have given your audit report on the complete financial statement now in a document there are three things complete financial statements that you have audited your audit report and unaudited summary financial statement then in that case what you will do sir you will see in case of these summary financial statements there is no association with your name there is no association with your name so you will be satisfied that reference to auditor is made only in the context of 100% financial statements that is the full financial statements and this statement doesn't give a impression that auditor has reported on summary financial statement if a and b are not satisfied you will request the management to change the presentation you will request the management to change the statement or not refer to the auditor in the document alternatively you may ask the management that i should report on the summary financial statements if the management doesn't agree if the management says no again you will advise the management about the actions that you may take against the management so these are the basic points just read them in case icai ask a case study based question you will be able to tackle it well that's come the last point sir what that we discussed about 15th june and 15th of july if the audit report on the full financial statements is dated 15th of june the audit report on summary financial statements is dated 15th of july there can be events between 15th of june and 15th of july am i required to deal with them the answer is no because the summary financial statements are derived from full financial statements there is no responsibility of the events between the date of audit report on full financial statements and the date of audit report on summary financial statements clear clear sir so that's all about the revision of this essay 810 a very good technical conceptual essay whatever things we have learnt you just need to learn them other things just understand them conceptually and i'm sure you will rock in this chapter chalo thanks a lot for attending today's class and at the end remember baba it does not matter it does not matter how slowly you go in the life see patience is very important once you have patience you can achieve anything in life so it does not matter how slowly you go as long as you do not stop and once you do not stop you automatically reach the finishing line you automatically reach the finishing line and emerge as a winner so you people are just winners for me for keep going on and keep attending these sessions and yes stay amazing as you are happy learning and let's catch up in the next session